Hello everyone and welcome to Antique and Garden Showcase. Today is going to be about yard cleanup and we're going to tackle several different areas and also plant out the rest of the planters that don't have anything for spring. Now I like for my planters to have early spring color. So I'll start with early spring color and then I'll transition those and have other liners ready to start for summer uh, pretty soon thereafter. But in that transition time between uh, early spring and summer, what I like to do is do maintenance on the urns and flower pots. So there will be no urn maintenance or anything like that today. With one exception, I am going to take the uh, Kramer urn out of the round formal bed and straighten that up where it's leaning to one side. So other than that, we're just going to tackle a lot of yard cleanup today. And first, I want to give you a quick pick of what the... Uh, first planters look like by the front door. I put a picture of these up on the Antique and Garden Showcase Facebook page last night and just to kind of show you where they're at right now but they are starting to fill in really well. We're getting uh, some pretty nice white hyacinth color. Others are coming out and we had some purple crocus come out today. So these look just like a really neat little spring basket uh, showing up out here now. So it looks great on both sides. Um, can't wait to get more pink and more purple colors coming out. It's going to be a really neat, neat showy piece. And I like different styles of planters for each season. So, you know, in summertime, I'll have something that kind of drapes over the edge and whatever. But for spring, I kind of like this more basket effect, kind of a small uh, Easter looking planting there. So task one is going to be taking care of this leaning urn. And I hope with the camera angle right now, you can tell that it's actually tilted towards the front this way. So I've got the tools that we need out here. I've got a shovel, I've got gloves, I've got a level and a trowel. This is sitting on four stepping stones, so they're gonna have to be leveled up in order for this to uh, sit straight. It's either four or six. There might be a six stepping stones under there because it's a really wide base. But anyway, we're gonna get that done. We're gonna clean up this cabbage, straighten this bed up and have it ready for spring. <music> As you can see there are six stones underneath of here and with winter time it is kind of settled in so we're going to um, lift up those front stones and kind of put some extra dirt underneath of there to kind of make those uh, come back up where the urn will be level again. It really seemed to be just this side and this front corner that was a little bit off you could actually feel the stones move where it was like they had just settled in there was no dirt around them so I went back in and just took some dirt and put under there and kind of press those into place. I think this is going to be okay. It checks well with the level. We'll have to see. We'll put it all back together here. I forgot the drip tubing. I'm going to put the drip tubing back up under there. And that will run right up the center post as well. Right through there. This is the bowl that I talked about being drilled earlier. It's drilled in the center, so the drip line is going to go right through the middle of that as well. And then some of you all had asked what a quick connect was like. This is a quick connect. Lay it here in my hand. Hopefully you can see that. That's a quick connect, so I'm gonna put that back on there. Now the larger bowl, I actually rigged this to hold some birch branches in for Christmas time. 
and I've still got it all on there so you can see I have this just zip tied in I used an old lamp part zip tied it to that zip tied it to the bricks and then I actually zip tie those branches to the bricks and uh, that's how I use the lighted decorations out here but I'm gonna go get something and cut this apart before I put this ball back on I'm gonna take a trusty pair of printers go in there and snip this band that will release all of that stuff that's on the back side there. All that comes out. I'm going to save that for next year to put back in there at Christmas time. Bricks fell out. Let's just do a quick tap, get that out of there. And this is ready to reinstall as well. And then we'll see what the finished product looks like. And for the last part of this segment, we're going to get this bed cleaned out. I'm going to get all this cabbage out of there. It's starting to ferment and get that hauled away to a compost pile and get all the old leaves out of there that have piled up through the winter. Um, I don't know if you can see this or not, but this bed was full of super tunias last year and they grew in around the boxwoods and these boxwoods got hit by the spider mites really bad before I knew it. They were treated and hopefully this year i see new growth coming out they're actually got some buds and looks like blooms coming out so i'm going to trim all that dead back on those as well maybe not today but soon and uh, get those uh, ready to come back out for spring and not put plantings as close this year and that already looks better with the cabbage gone i've got to get all these leaves cleaned up there are some extra skewers in there i put in when i planted those last fall to keep rabbits and squirrels out as usual and i'm going to recycle as many of those as i can reuse uh, the broken ones i'll just compost because they break down really easy as you can see i have all the cabbage loaded into a wheelbarrow over here on the sidewalk and lots of leaves collected underneath there and i guess all that's really protected the pansies and things this fall. Lots of accomplishments today. First was this bed, got all the old cabbage out. It exposed the pansies, which look so much better, and you can actually see the Oparis daffodils, which are coming up. I straightened out the urn, which is now level on all sides, and I've had some extra pansies left over and put those in a liner in that pot just so it would have a little something for spring in it as well. So, project one is done project two was cleaning out these planter boxes on the retaining wall and in those i put in some hyacinth purple red and purple and a couple of pansies in the middle i don't want to have heavily plant these because they'll be changing out for summer and i don't have extra liners for these so i'll just pop these hyacinth in the ground somewhere move the pansies out once they're spent and get summer in these containers so this was project two for the day Project three was getting the fall stuff cleaned out of the driveway island, which I'm now referring to as Daffodil Hill. And it's starting to bloom now. These were the top 40 daffodil mix from Color Blends. Most of them are yellow that have come out so far. But there was one unusual yellow one right here. I really like that one. But I still haven't changed out the pots in the middle. I'm gonna put I was originally going to put three in. I think I'm going to do four now after seeing the space cleared out. I think I can get four across there. So this was project three for the day. Project four was actually reseeding the lawn. I had some spots that needed to be taken care of out here. So I got a fescue blend mix by Scott's that I used on the lawn. I've reseeded the entire lawn, front, sides, and back. But up here, let's take a look at the tulip pots which are looking really well those are the double mix there are some more daffodils blooming these actually came from a neighbor many years ago across the porch i know some people thought these would never turn out looking like this but they look like the neatest little easter baskets ever now really pretty same on this side lots of color these are really neat looking. This planter I just cleaned out. Didn't plant anything in it just yet. Haven't made any decisions on what I want to do there just yet. And another tulip planter here. Walking on. That's a snow fountain cherry there. And a very large ginkgo. An Edith Bogue magnolia. Which I try to keep trimmed away. 
worked on reseeding the lawn around here as well lots of cleanup over here today branches twigs um, lots of leaves and magnolia drop these little seed pod cones all over the yard so that too this is a neglected area and this is where we're going to be doing some work this year too the side of the kitchen garden on this side of the house needs some help it's got landscape paper and i'm thinking about ripping every stitch of landscape paper up in fact i already did on this lower portion down here today i like no more landscape paper just harbors a lot more weeds seems like than it really does good so that came out today there's gonna be some changes here i may actually put that stone bench on this side and some roses because this gets really nice um, east morning sun over here but other than that kitchen garden's ready to go for planting the beds are kind of in shape this is a really terraced garden as you can see it slopes off right down here this is the only flat spot we have so there's another garden down some steps in the lower portion of this garden well that's a mini tour today some people were asking about magnolias the other day this is a k paris magnolia really pretty it's a mix between a bracken's brown and um the dwarf ones like i have around front oh i can't think of the name i'll put it on the screen oh little gem little gem magnolias and bracken's brown they keep a really nice pyramid but not full shape like the beast back here but this has the prettiest blooms and the best smell ever so thanks again for joining me on antique and garden showcase today i hope you've enjoyed this little mini tour of spring planters these are just the first ones that i have throughout the year i change these um, in summer sometimes i change them midsummer and fall sometimes i leave summer in all summer long so we'll just see how it goes with the planters this year but right now we're in spring these will last until probably mid-may before i change those out and when i do that change that's when i actually do some repair work on the urns if they're if it's needed so those are the things that are kind of coming up um, Thanks again for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a like. As always, if you want to see more from us, subscribe, hit the bell, and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great week. Bye.